So one in three UK water workers are verbally abused amid the sewage fury at GMB finds. We're going to read into this exclusive from The Guardian, you guys. Let's go. <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Regan Lee here with an exclusive from The Guardian with the headline of one in three UK water workers verbally abused amid the sewage fury at GMB finds. The exclusive reveals that public anger over river pollutions are affecting employee safety, a union survey has uh, suggested here. Guys, while you're here, make sure you hit the like button and share this across social media so others are notified of this video. So we've talked, obviously, a lot about how... Uh, about how upset and angry we are about the the waters, uh, the sewages that is taken, being gushed in and all over the place. The workers, not so much. And this is one really about the workers here, guys. Um, and I really want to make this absolutely clear here. Okay, it's easy to point the finger at workers and em uh, workers and employees, but we should know that it is not their fault. That the that the water that the, that we are in the situation we're in. I want to make this very very clear. This is down to the employers. This is down to the executives. This is down to the owners, who are racking in the money. Yeah, not the simple basic employees who come in and doing their doing their checks and doing and doing the 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 labour work of the side of these water companies. These guys are just doing their jobs, and unfortunately, because they are the ones who end up having to conf, uh, face in front of customers. They're the ones who are getting abused, uh, hold at, and, and and according to the survey here, perhaps even having their 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 themselves threatened in some way, shape, or form as well. Because simply at the end of the day, they're just trying to do their job, just like you know anybody else who's trying to work their job, um, <clears throat> like a simple cashier behind the counter, and you don't like a certain policy, a retail shop, you know, kicking, screaming at an employee. At the end of the day, they're just doing their job. And uh, I understand the anger, and I'm just as angry as, as you are, guys, when it comes to the pollution that's been taken and the damage that's been caused. But taking it out on these uh, water workers who are simply just doing their job, it's not helping you, it's not helping them, it's not helping anybody. And in fact, it's just it's making these workers, you know, who are doing this job to get, not just, I would say that many water workers will probably do these jobs, not so much that they enjoy it, but because just so that they can get their paycheck in. Uh, and I think that's a really important point for us to understand. Um, these are human beings just like us, you know. Like, if, you, if, you're, if you're talking to their bosses or bosses' bosses, that's a different thing. But lashing out at these workers is not going to fix the situation, guys. And it's really, really important to stress that. So all industry workers said they are being physically assaulted and feel unsafe working alone for fear of attack amid a public backlash over the sewage dumping. More than one in three UK water employees have been verbally abused at work, according to a survey of almost 1,300 staff conducted by GMB Union. Water companies in England faced a barrage of criticism last week as data reveals that raw sewage was discharged into more than 3.6 million hours into rivers and seas last year, the worst year on record for storm water pollution. The companies include heavily indebted Thames Water, which faces questions over its financial future after investors said on Thursday they were unwilling to invest further funds that have been widely condemned by the public and politicians over leaks and spills. The anger appears to have manifested on the front line. Workers complained that they have faced very hostile abuse from the public in a series of ang anonymous tendencies delivered to the GMB and shared exclusively with The Guardian. One employee said they had stopped interacting with members of the public after a colleague was violently assaulted and was off work for a week with a broken jaw. Another claimed an employee was attacked with a machete. Another said they had been physically assaulted by miners while shutting down a, a vandalised fire hydrant while their parents stood laughing. An employee who now refuses to wear clothing by the, with the company logo wrote of an alleged incident where colleagues were dealing with a sewage spill in the road. Drivers were personally splashing staff with the sewage. He was soaked, it, it was in his eyes and face, appalled and disgusting behaviour by the public, they said. That's disgusting. Like... Like treating like these guys are just this is so disgusting. Like these assaults 
and the, the treatment of other people, like, do they not think about any at all about the well-being of these people? This is so, this is so outrageous. I really do sympathise deeply with these employees because at the end of the day, they're just trying to do their job. Another worker said they now feel unsafe working alone in a lot more places in their area than they're used to. According to the survey, 52% of workers said they believe uh, reports of sewage and dumping had contributed to an increase in abuse. Of course, because people are angry. People are angry and they don't know how, how to take that frustration out. Obviously, they scream and shout on social media about it, but they, they can't take that anger out on the executives and those who run the companies. But anyone associated with those companies, they're going to take it out on them, even though that those employers who are simply doing their jobs, have absolutely, can't, they can't control this. They don't. They they have to do what they, whatever the company tells them to do, or they won't get their pay. And screaming and abusing these workers is not going to fix anything. <sighs> workers said they felt underpaid and underappreciated, and that abuse frequency came from motorists when work uh, when working force road closures, call centre workers had also suffered abuse. They said. A GMB research found that just 20% of waste walker workers thought infrastructure was good enough to stop the leaks. And the same number had witnessed um, reported sewage spills in the past year. One in five said they had a, either personally been encouraged uh, under report uh, sewage spills or knew a colleague who had. One of the respondents said managers are not investigating reports of abusive customer behaviour as they were afraid of customers' complaints affecting the scores, uh, the scores target. It's easy for managers not to investigate aggressive customer behaviour. Let's see, here's, here's the thing as well. You know, if they lash out, they can get that. And the employees lash, these employees who are suffering this, if they lash out, they could get in trouble and they could get themselves, uh, their pay could get ducked or get, you know, lose their job or whatever. Um, yeah, it's a disgusting situation. And they, they basically are sitting there putting up with it. And it's not good here, guys, from the mental point of view. Not good for their mental health. So Gary Carter, GMB National Officer, said, no one should go to work and face abuse, but this situation is horrifying. Because of the neglect actions of water bosses in allowing sewage dumping to rocket has exposed our own workers to physical and verbal abuse. GMB demands a zero-tolerance approach to the abuse of water workers and calls on water shareholders to fork out the desperately needed infrastructure to stop the, sewage, the record sewage spills. Last week, the Environment Agency launched a portal to make it easier for water company whistleblowers to safely report serious environmental wrongdoing by their employer. The agency said it was a bid to crack down on sewage pollution and other environmental wrongdoings and said any findings could be used to support involvement action against the company, including financial penalties and criminal prosecution. England's privatised water funds have been criticised for failing to invest in infrastructure while paying out billions in dividends to investors. Last week, shareholders in Britain's biggest water companies, Thames Water, said they had withheld £500 million from the indebted utility after a standoff with the regulator Offwatt, which is refusing their demands to increase customer bills by 40%. In response, a bond issued by Thames Water parent company was now fallen to record lows to £400 million bond, which was issued by the water supplier parent company Kimball, which, uh, and which matures in 2026 has lost more than 80% of its value over the past 12 months. It halved to only 12.7p after the shareholder update before lifting it slightly to 14.4p on Thursday. Kebo is expected to try and persuade its lenders to agree to a debt of equity swap. I don't give a damn about the about that stuff. Um, it needs to be back in public hands with the water companies. But I am deeply concerned about the, 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 the concern and the well-being of the workers here. And I've said this before uh, already, guys, but I, I am... I understand. I am angry too about what's happening with our environment. I'm angry too about the damage that's being done. I'm angry about the sewage that's being leaked everywhere. I really am. But taking it out on the workers is not going to help anyone. Um, you're not. You're not going to help anyone. And at the end of the day, they're just doing their job. They're trying to do their job. And I just feel like that people feel. I feel like this. People just feel they need they need to be abusive when they don't need to be. Um, and it's disgusting and it's shameful. It really is. It's really shameful if you are one of those people who are abusing their work, abusing these tense workers. No matter like what you may feel about that particular person or about the company, and trust me, I hate I hate these water companies taking advantage of us. I really, really do. But you know, just stop and think about what you're doing. Like really, like 
they they don't deserve this they really really don't guys because at the end of the day like you they're trying to work they're trying to make a paycheck and um and, and it's just going to lead to more people basically being and you know what's going to happen yeah if you continue this abuse you know some of them may end up quitting their job guess where they're going to be on the dole guess who's going to be paying paying for them being on the dole you the taxpayer more people on the benefits you want more people on the benefits? No. Then stop abusing water workers and let them do their goddamn jobs then. So what do you guys think? What do you guys make of the situation? One in three water workers being verbally abused amid sewage fury. Uh, have you do you know anyone anybody who works for a water company that's suffering from these abuses? Do you are you a water worker yourself? Can you share your experiences in the comment section down below? What do you guys make of this story? Let me know all your thoughts and more down below, guys. If you found this video informative, please hit the like button. We greatly appreciate it. Share it across social media so others are notified of this video. And subscribe because it really does help support the channel. And if you want to go one step further and financially support me in the work I do here, you can do so by becoming a YouTube member for as little as 99p or join me on Rumble or Patreon for exclusive content there as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope to catch you all very, very soon.